near Puerto Malaga, named after the port from which the Espinosa family left Spain before coming to Solis. Okay. It's also where the Black Hand keep the schematics for their warships. Ah, bien. Now you're speaking my language. Sorrento, I'm at Puerto Malaga. First order of business is securing the schematics to the BA-31 warship. Then the army can take the factory. Where are the schematics? The plans for the warship are at a console at the north end of the base. Probably. I'll mark it. Probably. Where they're not, I will have to go with plan B. Console's dead. Gotta power it on. Is this still plan A? Ships. They're keeping one of the ships in an underground docking bay. I'll mark an entrance.
Starship acquired. Just need to open these doors. the ship out of its cave. Que bien, Rico. Take it out of the canal into the maintenance bay. The cannon on this thing isn't bad. I know. It's going to be nice to have one of these at our disposal. From there, we can scan the ship and upload its schematics. Maintenance bay. Don't move. Scanning. Hostile attempting to upload warship schematics. Take out that ship. Get that boat back in there. Take care of him.
want to make sure they don't destroy the boat before we're done getting the schematic. Easy. Once we can start making these things for ourselves, oof, I'm excited. thought to belong to Otorongo's wisest advisor. We call him El Sabio. The Espinosa narrative would have us believe he was a monster sorcerer and a cultist. Let me guess. None of that is true. His name is lost, but the legends of his wisdom, compassion, and strength survived in some of the relics destroyed by Espinosa's archaeologists. Mira, gather everyone. I think we're ready for a yapa. Listo. I'll have everyone waiting at Estación Otalaya. It's time to take the fight to Espinosa. <laughs> El Sabio's vault is open. Let's see what secrets he has for us. Here, uh, waves along the ocean shore. What a cryptic verse. Like this tomb hidden on the ocean shore. It's maddening. Think, Javi. I know you'll figure it out. We are making some progress, but I don't yet understand the significance. 
Por favor, Rico. You must help me find more verses. Moving out? We're ready to go, but Isi's off getting us some intel from a guy in Kuya. Can you make sure she gets to the outpost safely? Can't wait to meet her. Hey, Rico, good chance to test our new pilots, no? Sure. Chevre, go on, give on a call. Mira, Sargento, dropping in over Cuya. Yes. Isis waiting for you on the roof of the Batista building. On my way. There she is. <sighs> nice to meet you. Buenas, hardware. No chopper? Figured you'd bring one. Oh, think I know where to get one. I'd say the pilots are gonna work out fine. Let's go, Easy. Right with you. Mira, where are we going? Listo, just got here. Sending you coordinates. Nice city. Poor city. Always been that way. Before he moved to his castle in the sky, Espinosa headquarters was in Nueva Voz. All the money is there. So, people in Cuya get by other ways, like selling black market information to the Army of Chaos. What's the intel? Mira's eyes only. Oye, turn on the radio. Need music. You read my mind. Gracias. This looks like the spot. Whew. Thanks for the lift, nice. hardware. Anytime. Mira, we're here. Bien, I'm in the control center. Come on up. Good to go. How's it going easy? It's going. We're pushing forward, but none of that matters unless we can disable Yapa's defenses. EC and I have been working on that. All of these facilities house prototype weather cores, and each core is connected to Iapa's defense network. Oh, that was with artillery. See, si. if we can plant a virus in those weather cores, we can send a message up the network, causing malfunctions in the tower's machinery. Everything breaks, boom, no more artillery. Then we just have the blizzard. One thing at a time, Mira. Tell me more about the facilities housing the weather cores. This is Zona Uno. It's protected by a sandstorm. Mira, here. Gracias, Izzy. What's that? Information on a place called La Masmora. It's a prison hidden in the desert. Something Gabriela said. I think my uncle Lanza might still be alive. And if he is, he's being held there. And, uh... He can help us get into Zona Uno? He helped your father build Project Iapa. Mira, if he's still alive, I'll find him. 
here? It's on a trace. According to Easy, it's not on the network, but I have an old friend, Cesar. He has a theory that might help us. Then let's hear what he has to say. And this is Sona Dos. We don't know much about that facility. Are you ever going to answer this? I'm not an agency man anymore. Rico, those coordinates are close. Look. Ay, that can't be a coincidence. I'll check it out. I'm sending you all the data you'll need to your AR lens. Good. Let's start hitting Oscar when it hurts. Tom Sheldon. Well, I guess you got my message. It's all clear, Mita. I'm on my way. Who's that? Why are you here, Sheldon? When you went dark after Medici, I figured I'd look through some of your old files, see where you might end up. It turns out your dad was working with Oscar Espinosa back in the day, something called Project Iapa. What do you know about Iapa? I know there's lots of buzz about Solis at the agency these days. Talk of weather modification technology, strategic atmospherics. Of course, once the higher-ups heard that I was looking at those IAPA files, I ended up on administrative leave. Guess I'm not the only one who doesn't trust Tom Sheldon. I know you're looking to take out IAPA, Rico. I've already done some of the legwork. You screw me over more than once in Medici. I don't want your help, Sheldon. Well, you're gonna need it. I did some snooping around Zona Dos. <clears throat> Turns out that place is constantly surrounded by a nasty lightning storm. Fried poor Annabelle here. That seems pretty suspicious to have a standing lightning storm like that, don't you think? This a friend of yours, Rico? Not exactly. Mira Morales. This is Tom Sheldon. I've known him for 20 years. He cannot be trusted. Buenas. Don't listen to this guy, senorita. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Rico and I were just discussing the situation with Zona Dos. And you know how to access the core? I don't know anything about the core, but I got a good idea how to get us past that lightning storm. Good luck with Annabelle, Sheldon. We'll figure something else out. He's got a plan, Rico. And we don't. Duck. Okay. Now there's a river that runs underneath the facility. I figure we use a boat to get close. You remember the Stingray base back in Medici? The same basic concept. Do you want to make a lightning proof boat? Yeah, bingo. Now, I also hear there's a nearby research lab that's testing a way to harness lightning. Figure we find something there to protect the boat, spare us poor Annabelle's fate. You're talking about that facility in the mountains, Mediola. <laughs> you got it. And we could do the custom boat work at Prospero Astiero. Interesting. Yeah, coming around, aren't you? Why are you doing this, Sheldon? <laughs> well, <sighs> because I owe you, Rico. You want to take out Iapa? I want to help you do it. Besides, we both know we can't have just anybody running around with a weather weapon, for God's sakes. You got a better idea? She... That's what I like to hear. So... We meet up at Medio Lab when we're ready? Sounds good. You know, for a minute there, I thought you were gonna shoot me. <laughs> Not this time, Sheldon. <laughs> 